Hello, my name is Logan, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Kudai Infinite Fusion. Uh, this is instructions on their official Discord server. I will have links in the description below. This is going to be for Windows only. Uh, for the other platforms, Steam Deck, Android Mobile, I will be making videos at a later date. So consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll help me and help you know when those videos come out. So quick explanation, dynamic. For those that don't have that much space or don't really care and want the fastest installation possible, this is the way to do it. So dynamic, as you play the game, the game accesses the internet and downloads the Pokemon sprites that way. Every time you encounter a Pokemon, it downloads a sprite. This method down here, which is the other method we're gonna be going over, is the preloaded. At the end of these instructions, the game will have all the sprites and you will not have to connect to the internet to see those sprites. But by the end of the video, I will be combining the two because this first method, it comes with this cool file here, the install or update dot bat file. That means I can update the game to the newest version on the fly. I just double click that file and it's good to go. This preloaded version does not have that. So again, I will be showing both of these versions and then combining it at the end. First step for the dynamic version. We gotta download this thing here. I'm gonna click on it. We're gonna download it. We can see up here, we're gonna click on this. As you can tell, I've downloaded this several times already. I'm trying to make this video. So it went into my downloads, it's right here. So my advice is to make a folder on your root C drive, your, your drive that has the operating system installed onto it. So it's usually gonna be your C drive. I'm gonna click on my C drive, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit new, folder. I'm just going to call this like infinite fusion. All right. So now we're going to go back to our downloads. I'm going to take this here and just move it to the C drive. Okay. That's fine. And here we're just going to extract it. Now this file is not that big. Windows will be able to handle it. But when we do the preloaded version, you will need a separate piece of software, which I will show. All right, so we're just gonna right click this thing, extract all, we're gonna hit browse, um, and then we're gonna find that folder we made. So we're gonna go to this PC, open up local disk C, and click on our infinite fusion folder. I'm gonna hit select folder, extract. Okay, very quick, hopefully. And what you wanna do next is just double click this install or update dot bat file. So we're double clicking it. So Windows will flag this. You need to bypass this here um, and you just hit run anyway. And you can see it just starts going. Now in this video, if I do cut out, um, it's because it's taking a while and I cut back in when it's finished but luckily this does look like it's moving a little bit. Again, it may, depending on your internet speed, this may take a while. It may look like it's getting stuck. Just give it some time um, and it should work. So here we can see everything is good to go. So it says press any key to continue. I'm clicking a key. We can see that the game has been downloaded. So I'm gonna test it really quick for you guys. This is the application here, the executable. All right, so we see that works. That is gonna be the quickest, fastest, easiest way to download this game, Kudai Infinite Fusion. Now, I wanna show you guys how to download and install the preloaded version. All right, so this is the steps required to download and install the preloaded version. So first thing, we're gonna to go to the Mediafire link. And here, uh, we're just downloading this file. Very easy, just clicking on it. And it, like I said, this is gonna be a lot bigger where Infinite Fusion was maybe just a, a handful of 100 megabytes or whatever. This is now 2.2 gigs uh, zipped up. So 
So we're going to download it. So that's going. Um, it may take a while depending on your guys' internet speed, so please be patient. In the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is make a folder. So I'm going to go to my D drive, um, and here we're just going to make a folder. And I'm going to call this Preloaded Infinite Fusion. All right, so it finished downloading. So we're gonna go to the download section. Now, if I double click this file, the zip file, Windows is gonna freak out because it's gonna use whatever's baked into Windows to open this. And we don't want to do that. We need WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now I have more experience with WinRAR, so that's what I'm gonna be downloading. Uh, but I will have the links in the description below, but make sure you have one of those two apps. I'm gonna show you guys how to download WinRAR because that's what I'm used to, though 7-Zip, which it looks like it's over here, is also pretty cool, I've heard. So we're gonna be going to WinRAR. I just went to Google, typed it in. This is software that is free. You do not have to buy it. So here I'm clicking download WinRAR, and then we're just gonna do the free trial. Again, it, it it's not a trial. They would just like some money, but it's more of a donation. So I'm going to click on it. It got finished. And we're just going to install it. Here you can associate all the different type of files with WinRAR. Um, I just leave it as is, and I'm going to hit OK. And here it's just talking again about purchasing it, but you do not have to. I'm gonna close this window here. I'm gonna open up my Explorer and we're gonna go back to uh, this file here. So this is the preloaded version. This is a zip file. So instead of double clicking it, I'm right clicking it and hitting open with, and I'm gonna choose WinRAR. Um, and again, I'm just gonna do, I don't know why it's asking me again, but we're going to do WinRAR again. See, this is here. We're talking about purchasing it, but no, you just hit the little X. It's good to go. All right. So we don't have to do much here. All you got to do is hit extract to. And then here I'm going to extract it to the folder I made on my D drive right here. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. So this part, depending on your computer, it may take a while. So I'm probably going to get a cut and then when I'm back, it will be finished extracting. All right. So finished extracting. It took me about two minutes, but for some computers, it can take a very long time. So I'm going to close this file here, the window, I mean, and we're going to check out what was extracted to make sure that the game works. So we're going to go to preloaded here. That is the folder I made. And inside we can see it was extracted. We're gonna boot the game up. So here we can see that this is not the most current version of Kudai Infinite Fusion. There's a couple ways of updating the game, um, but I'm gonna show you guys I, what I think is the best way of keeping this game up to date. So I'm gonna close this window. All right, so we're gonna go back to uh, my C drive. So. Getting to C drive, this is the folder I made. This is all you got to do. We just need this here and anything in here that is not quite the same. But I'm not going to guess. I'm just going to copy everything that I know that I might need. So I'm selecting the required by installer updater. And then I'm just holding shift and then left clicking the last file here. And I'm going to right click and hit copy. Now I'm gonna go back to my D drive, open up this folder, right click in an empty space and paste. Now it's gonna replace some of these files, which is totally cool. But now what I'm going to do is run that updater, which it's right here. I thought it was, for some reason, I thought it was in this folder, but you can see we moved the dot bat file over here. I'm gonna double click this now, and this is gonna automatically check my files to make sure it's up to date, which it wasn't. So it's going to download stuff now. 
great. It's all finished. Now, when I load this up, it should be the most up-to-date version. So that is the ideal way of playing the game. You want this install or update file, but also with all the custom sprites already there. The game is pretty beefy already. Um, and then with this mod stuff, with these new features, it kind of bogs it down even further. So having the custom sprites already installed and not relying on the internet will allow the game to not struggle so hard and that it should run smoother because the sprites are already there and doesn't require that extra step. There's one last thing I wanted to cover and that's how to add custom sprites to your game. Now this preloaded version is a bit older and I think it's missing at least one month's worth of custom sprites uh, at the time of this video. So I'll show you guys how to update that and get those custom sprites into the game. So here I am going to go to the Infinite Fusion Discord server and I am going to the download section. And here I am just going to be downloading the October pack. All these links and everything I will have in the description below. So if you're finding that you can't get on Discord or for whatever reason, I should be able to help you there in the description. So we are gonna download this. I'm gonna click on it. All right, so finished downloading. I'm gonna go to the file explorer downloads we can see it here i'm going to be using winrar to open this um, i just find it a lot faster so doing that we're going to go into this folder and we can see there's two other folders here other it has a bunch of random stuff in it it kind of just has sprites that you can use to tailor your experience 99 percent of the people um they're going to want this here the custom battlers these are your custom sprites for the Pokemon fusions. So we're going to double click that. And there's a lot of files here. And this is why I'm using WinRAR. So what I'm going to do now is sort of minimize the back stuff here and use this window now to open up the location of my preloaded version. So that's on my D drive. I've got this folder here and we want to go into graphics and then custom battlers. And we want to drop the files here. So I'm going to kind of move that to the side. I'm going to go ahead. This window is pretty big. I kind of want them side by side here. I'm going to select the first item and I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to hold shift and left click. Now that's selecting everything and we simply just move it over. So I'm dragging and dropping all these files into the custom battlers folder. Again, depending on your computer, this may take a bit. So we're just kind of waiting. Great. So we can see that imported correctly, but now we need the game to move those files for us. So I'm going to boot the game up. And here you can see that it's talking about importing sprites. While importing custom sprites, the game has detected that 7,249 new custom sprites already have versions that exist in the game. What to do with the new sprites? So maybe this version of, of Kudai Infinite Fusion already has these custom sprites. So this was just kind of a precaution. Um, in the future, it may not have these sprites. So showing you guys how to do this, but you know, just in case, what I would do is replace all the old sprites. Um, and you can see 8,700 new custom sprites were imported. So if that is including the ones that were duplicates, it was just about a thousand that it was missing. So that's the end of the tutorial. That's how you install custom sprites. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button. It really does help us out in the long run. If you have any questions, concerns, or just want to say good job or whatever, please leave a comment down below. And then lastly, 
please consider subscribing. You already know it helps us out quite a bit. I will be going over mobile and Steam Deck in the future on how to download and install Kudai Infinite Infusion for those platforms. My name is Logan, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Bye-bye.